Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and thanks for this photo Juita Frin and today I'll show you this type of raw type image how to edit that photo in the rural area of Bangladesh. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, drag this photo and drop over here. You'll get a new copy of this layer. After that, I'll just do something correction over there. Here some highlight appears. Go to the adjustment and then go to the brightness and contrast. And a little bit down the brightness and add some contrast. And after that, again adjustment layer and go to the levels. After that, here you can adjust the light like this. So that's good and then go to the adjustment again and then go to the solid color pick a color from here which is like that and go to the blending mode and make it soft light and over here you can change up the color which type of color you want to give in this photo so I'll pick up the warm type color it will be amazing for this photo yeah that's fine now i'll do the face color correction and other stuffs select all the layer and right press convert to smart object it will merge it out and give you the one layer and then zoom it out if i zoom it in here is some spot in a face how to remove that here the spot healing brush tool if you go over here spot healing brush tool or J from the keyboard and then you can just do like that double press over here the photo will open up in new window and select this background and zoom and then just you can delete or you can smooth or you can remove the spots here before that you have to select this option that is the content over and then just do like that so i'm going to the forward so after removing that press ctrl s and it will take time to save it will save in this photo as well so before one was like that and after one you're getting like this so now i'll go to the filter and the camera raw filter from here i'll apply the other stuffs suppose here i'm using the amount of sharpening and luminance of noise reduction from here so like that and hsl panel increase the face color here that's good and change the hue of the yellow that's fine let's see the before one and after one i'm making the warm color for these photographs and the saturation i'll make it down luminance i'll increase that things and red luminance as well and the saturation of the red i'll increase like this from here i'll maintain the shadow and highlight so highlight will be like this and add some shadow like this and the blacks will be like that add some shadow for that i'm going back to the panel that's fine and here some temperature and tint i'll add some temperature like this and tint will be like that and dehaze option if i make it like this that's fine and the vibrance i'll make the vibrance a little bit down and add some contrast and highlight i'll make it down and add some exposure that's good from here the proscope vignetting i'll add some vignetting like this yeah and the subject will be prominent and here midpoint and radius will be like that and feather you have to adjust the feather it will make your photographs more nice and here some camera calibration if you need you can change up the camera calibration red primary color i am doing like that the hue of the red primary if i change it out it 
the color will be changed and the green as well this so that's fine and that's good from here the split toning so i'll go to the green color and make the green color yeah that's the fine green color and hsl panel you can adjust the hue of the green color if you make this one you can make the green color like this and add some aqua like that and the yellow color as well so that's good and here's the temperature i'll control that temperature from this panel minus 3 is a good for this temperature and the contrast as well and light of the face i'll increase the luminance i'll increase the red luminance and the orange luminance and yellow as well so a little bit not too much green luminance i'll make it down and blue this one this blue i'll change the hue of the blue like this it will be more amazing for these photographs so let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting the polished image before to press the ok i'll go to the small menu and save these settings and save it out and give the name that is the yellow select this smart object go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description from here i am using the cross processing these things this preset and here are lots of preset for you guys and you can apply any kind of methods from here which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know you have to choose this one from this panel and i think this one is good and i'll decrease the strength i'll make the strength like six and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output yeah the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this and now go to the filter again and camera filter now i'll desaturate a little bit it will make your photographs more nice and amazing and increase the exposure a little bit and hit ok so before one was like that and after one you're getting like this like levels go to the levels options you can change it out and you can make your photographs more amazing you can decrease the opacity of the levels i'll make it 87 percent or 91 is good so before one was like this and after getting the process you are getting this type of image hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when i'm signing out today bye bye